I see electrochemistry as almost the creation of new tools by taking what is otherwise a chemical reaction and by transforming it into an electrochemical reaction, we can open up totally new transformation pathways. In order to keep our climate from warming more than two degrees Celsius, it's clear that we need to be doing carbon capture. Today, we capture somewhere on the order of 40 megatons of CO2 per year. And within a few decades, we need to be capturing something on the order of 10 gigatons. Today's carbon capture systems are really large and really complex. It's also very energy intensive. The reason for that is CO2 reacts with a sorbent. We don't have to put energy into that step. But in order to replenish, or what's called regenerate the sorbent so that it can continue to bind CO2, we have to put in a lot of energy. We discovered that it's scientifically possible to conduct an electrochemical transformation on CO2 in the bound state when it's reacted with a sorbent. As a result, this has opened up immense possibilities in the ways that we know how to manipulate and transform CO2. One of the biggest needs we face right now is to take batteries and push them to have higher energy density, both in terms of weight and volume. And my work is looking at how do we get down to fundamental electrochemical reactions and get the macroscopic energy densities that we know we need. At a high level, there are two categories of batteries. One is rechargeable batteries like lithium ion. On the other end of the spectrum, we have very high energy density batteries. These are called primary batteries. They play a really important role in technologies ranging from autonomous vehicles uh, all the way to implantable medical devices. The way that you get really high energy in a cell is you combine the highest energy anode, which is lithium metal, with a really high energy density cathode. Typically in the field, we've been looking at reactions that give us one, two, maybe four electrons per molecule at the cathode. In the reactions that we've developed, we can get up to 15. This has allowed us to develop entirely new classes of reactants that at the cell level can boost the energy density of a lithium primary battery on the market by at least 20%. In the future, we're pretty much all going to be driving electric vehicles. And when you're buying a car nowadays, if it's an electric vehicle, you're really largely buying a battery. So the battery is really everything. The very next step that the battery has to take in its evolution is to go from a graphite anode to a lithium metal anode. And all of the challenges with lithium metal arise at the interface, what we call the solid electrolyte interface, or SEI. By understanding what's happening in the SEI, we can develop new methodologies, new strategies to build a better interface internal to the cell while it's cycling and advance it to a stage where it has real prospects for use in electric vehicle batteries. Electrochemistry to me is very intellectual in a way because you can't see it. You can only see signatures that it happened. And I like to figure out how I can direct this unseen process and gain control of it, and then use those insights to engineer entirely new processes of benefit to society.